Hi everyone, welcome to this week's video and I hope that you're having a wonderful start to New Year's. This is actually my very first styling video of 2023. So with it being the start of the new year, I'd love to know if you have any goals or anything that you are reaching for in 2023. I actually have some goals for this year. They're more like fashion related that I'll share here, but I'd love to know what yours are. So we should definitely get like a conversation going in the comments. So I wanted to start the new year off by sharing my girly winter coat collection and just some really pretty feminine chic winter outfits. And the reason why I want to share my coat collection is because I actually have found that if you have the right coat, especially if you have the feminine style, you can wear your dresses and skirts and you can still just look very feminine and chic in the winter without being uncomfortable. I definitely found myself gravitating towards a certain styles of coats. So if you do have a similar style to me and you're just needing some outfit inspiration, maybe how to style coats, I have some ideas for you. Before I begin though, do consider subscribing if you love styling content like this, more like feminine fashion, girly fashion. I have a new video for you every week and it's always packed full of styling inspiration, fashion finds. And if you were like me and you're trying to build your dream wardrobe, you are gonna love what I have for you on this channel. I have three different styles of coats in my coat collection and I'm gonna start off with the cape coats because cape coats have really become a little bit of an obsession of mine this year. The cape coat is such a fashion statement and it just really shows that you love style. And in my opinion, there's just nothing more elegant and chic than a cape coat. The very first cape coat in my coat collection is this one right here. Oh my goodness, isn't this so cute? I love the colors and I like that it's a softer color palette. It's like that really pretty cream color that I love. It actually has a little hint of blue. It's in a plaid style. This one I like because it has a little bit more structure to it. It's not like you're drowning in a coat because sometimes cape coats can... I do have one that I tend to drown in a little bit, but this one I feel like is a little bit more structured and has a little bit more of a luxury look to it, whereas it's very affordable. I really like the button feature with this one and that you have these arm slits that really helps you showcase your outfit. It doesn't hide your outfit. You can see the details of the sleeves and I also love the extra detail of the faux fur collar. I just think that it really elevates it and makes it a little bit more cozy. One of my favorite outfits that I have loved with this cape coat has been starting off with this blouse. This is a white blouse with a ruffled neckline and then it has this faux feather trimming. It's very cute and stylish. Very trendy I would say and it just looks really cute styled with this because you can see the, the feather trimming coming outside of the cape coat. I don't know it just it gives a little bit of that old Hollywood glam and yet it's still so wearable. This top does have like a little zipper closure in the back and then a little bow detail in the front as well. So I could unbutton the cape coat a little bit so you could see those details especially with the ruffled neckline. I just really appreciate that when I pair this blouse with this cape coat I'm not losing the details of the outfit. I'm really getting that fun detail of the feather trimming peeking out. The ruffle trimming you can still see and it just adds to the depth of the outfit. This is one of my favorite blouses that I've loved getting a little bit more of that trendy look with yet still looking very classic and timeless. I really could mix and match whatever I wanted with this outfit but I've just been really loving it with wool trousers. These are a pair of trousers that I thrifted off of ThreadUp. They're nice and high-waisted. They give it a little bit more of that vintage look that I love and then adding in a nice pair of shoes like this with a low block heel but still keeping those brown tones in the outfit I think really kind of ties everything together as well these are my Sarah Flint shoes they have a little bit of a like suede material a little polka dot pattern and they fit very well into the color palette of this outfit this has been one of my favorite outfits that I've been wearing with this cape coat and that is definitely much more wearable but it also looks amazing with a dress. And actually my favorite dress to wear with this cape coat at the moment has been this one, this tweed dress. I've needed to mix up my look a little bit with this dress because I've been stuck wearing this with my pink cape coat. But switching up and wearing it with this one, I actually really like the color differences. Not necessarily the color differences because they're still shades of brown but this is a little bit of a deeper brown and this one is a little bit of a lighter so the textures that's what it is mixing the tweed and the like faux fur wool together i've really found this dress to be very comfortable for winter it has that really nice high collar a really pretty button up detail in the back button up detailing but it also has that balloon sleeve that you still don't lose with the cape coat you can still see that detail with the cape coat styled on top of it. But also at the bottom of this dress, it has this fringing 
going on to really just add a little bit of a trendy detail to the dress. It's still a very classic silhouette, very timeless piece, but just a little hint of that trendy detail just really goes a long way for me. I really, really love that about this dress and it also has a really nice soft lining pockets. It's just a really comfortable winter dress. And something that I like to do with this outfit is kind of change up the accessories. So for instance, with the previous outfit with the wool trousers, you could add in like a beige beret hat and just kind of go for like a French girl look. Or you could always go for, with this outfit, the dress and the cape coat, I felt like going for a bow would be really cute. So I actually styled my hair up with this little bow and I just like the extra little detail. It romanticizes it a little bit. The cape coat in itself is actually very soft and feminine, but I like to add little girly details like this. With this outfit, I'm very warm on top, but since it is a mini style, I might need to add a little bit more to the bottom of the outfit. So I did go for lace up boots. I could always exchange it out for over the knee boots if it is a colder day or add in tights. So there's different ways to kind of fit where you need the extra warmth in the outfit. But with these shoes, I just really like how it looks at the moment and it works for me for right now. So that's the way they decided to style this outfit. And it's honestly, I think I like this one better than the wool trouser one just since I am a little bit more biased towards dresses. So that's the first cape coat. And I definitely have more outfits that I could give you. I just want to give you two of my favorite ones at the moment. I feel like there's so much more that you could do with a coat like this. But the next coat that is in my girly coat collection is actually the one behind me that I use on my little clothing rack as decor for my little studio setup. This pink cape coat is the one that started the whole cape coat obsession. I love this coat so much, and I know some of you purchased it after I started wearing it so much. Um, I have been wearing it a lot these past couple weeks. Actually, I'm gonna say a couple months now that I've been wearing this cape coat, and I just am obsessed with it, and it's kind of what drew me into getting more cape coats from Chicwish, because the cape coats are probably my favorite thing that I have gotten from Chicwish and that I recommend the most. If you're gonna purchase something off of Chicwish, it would be the cape coats. With this cape coat, you get a very flattery silhouette. You have that tie around the waist and it really just sits in the most, just very flattering. It follows your figure very well, no matter how you move about. And it just drapes elegantly down the back. It's very, very girly too with the pink color, but it's the perfect shade of pink. It is not in your face. It's a little bit more of a muted, dusky rose pink. And then you have a little bit more of a lighter color with the faux fur on top. I just really, really love the color selection with this cape coat as well, because you can get it in other colors if you want to go more neutral, which I would actually recommend because it's always best to go for neutrals. You just get more wear out of them. But I just know that pink gets worn in my wardrobe and it just works really well with everything that I have. So I went for pink. So this is a really good example of a dress that I think looks really pretty styled with this cape coat. It's this short sleeve maxi dress, but I styled this sheer turtleneck underneath it. I got this turtleneck from my newly rentals and it's just one of those staples that has gotten so much wear since I've had this and I've only had this in my wardrobe for like a month or two now and it's just non-stop. I find this to be the perfect piece to layer underneath my short sleeve dresses so that I can still wear them. So just having this as the base of the outfit, very, um, very romantic. <laughs> It has a little bit of that vintage look to it with all the embroidery work and just the silhouette of it. I also love that you have this flutter sleeve. But focusing on the cape coat, I added that into the outfit and it just adds that pop of pink that I love. I just really like how cape coats enable you to wear your dresses in the winter. I think they just look very pretty styled with any type of dress, really. I think even knitted style dresses would look very beautiful styled with a cape coat. Since I was going for something a bit more playful and girly, I did decide to include my new tennis shoes. I got these for Christmas and I'm just so loving these. I recently went to the Love Shack Fancy store in Charleston. I only get to the Love Shack Fancy stores like once or twice a year. So it's always like an epic experience and it's so magical. So if you haven't seen my vlog, I will leave it linked above because it is so magical. I take you with me to the Love Shack Fancy store and it's just, if you are a girly girl, you love the fun romantic style, you will love that vlog. It's just so dreamy. And this is what I ended up purchasing after I did my little try-ons in the store. And I love these because it has a unique velvet 
lace up ties and I actually do have an, they give you an extra little light pink set of ties as well. So you can exchange the laces in the shoes. Sorry, I'm losing my train of thought. I'm like trying to explain this and I don't know where I'm going with that. But I decided to style these shoes with the outfit and I love how this just makes it a little bit more, not wearable, but just a little bit more casual. That's the word I'm looking for, casual. So that's a little bit more of a whimsical, romantic approach to wearing the cape coat. I also think that this cape coat looks amazing styled with wool trousers. Once again, these are ones also that I thrifted from ThreadUp as well. I love going for this top style with the, the trousers because this one has the button detailing along the cuff and you don't lose that with the cape coat. You can see that detail once again shown with the cape coat. You don't lose the outfit because you can see the pieces styled underneath it even with the lace neckline the lace collar you can still see that peeking through the top of the, the cape coat even though it has a faux fur trim neckline this silk top and the wool trousers i've shown a couple times on my channel before but i've never shown it with the pink cape coat and i love the combination i love that i can do like a very soft neutral very practical work outfit actually so it'd be perfect for work but layer a pink cape coat on top of it and it's just turned into a very dreamy, whimsical outfit. This is my next cape coat that I have for you. And this one is the one that is just very oversized. It is so cute though, because it has these little pom-poms at the bottom of the cape coat. It's just very cute. It's a little bit, I don't know, maybe it is a little bit tacky. I don't know. I don't really care because it's so cute. I love that the faux fur trimming is just a bit dramatic. This one is definitely a bit of more of a statement, but it's still very cozy. To me, this one comes across as a little bit more casual, even though it does have more of the dramatic elements to it with the big faux fur trimming. I think that you can definitely dress this one up. It just come, it just depends on how you style it. But with my style, I find myself wanting to wear this as a more of like a casual piece. This is like throwing a big blanket on top. And the fabric is really nice. It's very cozy. And once you wash everything, like once you wash all of these cape coats, they are so inviting. I recently styled this knit maxi dress with this cape coat and the colors are perfect. I could not have gotten a better color combination or color match than these two paired together. They are just, in my opinion, just the perfect combination. And I love that you can still see the long sleeve underneath the cape coat. I think the two just style very well together. So I could have gone for my pink velvet tennis shoes and I almost did, but I actually went for my white angle boots. I thought it looked really cute with them. I feel like the colors worked really well together and I was just going for that lighter, soft girl look with this outfit. And this outfit is what I mean by like it being a little bit more of a casual outfit for me because both these pieces are literally comfort. They're so soft. This dress is also very fitted. So when you take an oversized piece like this and pair it with something that's form-fitting, you have a really nice balance. And I think that's what helps me out with this outfit too. I've also found that this is a great cape to have on hand if you have a lot of layers and you, it just won't make you look bulky, like you have a ton of fabric underneath your coat and it's not uncomfortable when you have lots of fabric to keep yourself warm. It's nice having something like this to kind of throw on top of your outfit and feel comfortable. I was trying to find a really good example of this in my wardrobe of like layering up with lots of layers and yet still looking very elegant and comfortable in a cape coat. So I actually have this wool skirt. It's actually shorts styled underneath it, but I styled it with this cashmere top. Just a very simple outfit, very neutral. And then just since I'm trying to give the example of adding layers, like having a bunch of layers and yet still being able to wear that coat, added in this blazer and actually this outfit alone, I really like this outfit. I honestly was just playing around with outfit combinations in my wardrobe and I ended up coming up with this one. I feel like this is giving me a little bit of the romantic academia aesthetic. Um, maybe it's the pleated skirt. I'm not sure, but I also love the undertone, the brown undertone of this wool skirt. So already this outfit is very top heavy, very warm on top because I've got the cashmere sweater and the blazer. The bottom of the outfit, I could use a little bit of help. So I could always go for tights, but I just felt like it looked right with my white lace up boots. And then I just threw this cape coat on top of it. I thought it looked cute and girly with the skirt, the mini skirt, but I do like how this works with layers. The only thing with this one that I 
don't like is that you do lose the outfit a little bit. You don't see as many details as you would say with the previous cape coats that I've shown before. So that is something to keep in mind with this one, but this one is cozy. <laughs> like it's just, you want to throw this on. I believe that there are other color options of this cape coat as well, but I felt like I needed to go for the neutral and the cream and I just can't stop touching the collar because it's so soft. So cape coats are actually the dominant coat that I have in my wardrobe. The next category that I have is the wool coats, the wool trench coats, not, well, maybe it would be considered a trench coat. I just have two that I, oh my goodness, that are my absolute dream coats. And this one is actually a newer edition. I did end up getting it during a, the end of the year sale. I was not expecting to add this coat to my collection at all this year, but it happened. And it's a little bit of a dream come true because this coat, I actually tried it on at the beginning of the fall season. And I mentioned how much I wanted this coat, but it was just outside of my price range. And I need to stop talking to show you the coat. <laughs> it is, this coat, this is the Love Shack Fancy Sherry Coat. And I absolutely fell in love with this coat, but I felt like it was a little bit, it just wasn't practical for me to purchase the coat at the time because I didn't have much of a coat collection and I needed a coat that I knew I could wear with everything. So this is a little bit of a statement coat, obviously, with the pink plaid and it's not gonna be for everyone. But for me, this is, like I said, just it's a dream come true because this is the ultimate girly coat for me, but I absolutely adore it and I already have been wearing it and loving it. I have found with my coats, my wool coats in particular, that I tend to gravitate towards the longer styles. I don't know, maybe it's because I am taller, but I just also feel like they look really nice with maxi dresses. So that could be another reason why I like the longer style coats. I love how the lining on the inside of the coat is pink. So you just get the extra girly detail that no one really sees, but I mean, you still know it's there. So I like that about it. And I love that the faux fur is continued on the inside of the coat too. But the only thing with this coat is that you do have to be a little bit more selective of what you style with it. Although I will say it looks very cute with leggings. More than likely the coat is meant to be the statement of the outfit, but I did find this dress that looked really cute with this um, coat, this pink dress. And this is a dress from Amy Jane London. It's a new dress that I, it's a new dress brand that I have recently discovered. And this is honestly a girly dream and the quality is amazing. I wanted to style this dress with the coat, first of all, because it looks absolutely amazing with the coat. That softer pink undertone, is perfect, I think, even though it's definitely a bit of a dramatic outfit, girly dramatic, but I still think it's very soft. It is the perfect shade of pale pink. So whimsical. I cannot wait to pull this out in the springtime too, because I feel like it's just gonna be one of those statement pieces. I've actually found that this dress looks really cute with this cardigan that I'm wearing right now. This is a cardigan from Chic Wish. It has these little bow details on it. It is so cute. The only thing with this cardigan is that the button up style is a little bit weird. So you, like, you have to, you have to button it up backwards almost instead. Of, yeah, it's weird. You'll understand what I mean if you do end up getting this cardigan, which I highly recommend because it is the softest, fuzziest cardigan I have in my entire wardrobe. Like it is so cozy and comfy and it's in this like baby powder pink. It's really cute. And I love how it looks styled with this dress. It just makes the dress look more wintry. And with the pink plaid coat it is just so extra, but it looks right. Like it's just really cute. I love this combination. And even if I wanted to wear the dress on it on its own with the pink coat, I could definitely go that option as well. But I, I really like how it looks with the pink fuzzy cardigan styled with it. I just think it's a very ultra girly look and sometimes I'm feeling that. I'm having fun exploring different um, pink options in my wardrobe and this is such a wearable one. It's not too in your face pink. It's wearable enough to be more of an everyday piece for me. So I'm excited about this one, especially when spring comes around. But for now, I can really enjoy it with this coat. And I figured some of you would actually really enjoy looking through this brand, Amy Jane London, because they do have such a whimsical feminine approach to their dresses and just very detailed. And I really, really am excited about this new discovery and the fact that they're having a really good sale right now, which I have been trying to stay away from because I know I'm gonna end up wanting to buy a ton of stuff off there, but I'm going to settle with this one. We are fine with just this one dress for now. So the coat is perfect with dresses, but it's also perfect 
with just soft neutral pants as well. I went for my wool trousers once again, literally wearing the same two pants this entire winter season. But I did style this white ruffle blouse. This is from Simple Retro. Styled it with the trousers, very basic, simple outfits. I love that this coat can just do all the talking for me. My style explained with this coat. I'm loving what I've been finding in my wardrobe that works with this coat and it's just making me excited because I had more than I thought. I'm really glad that I got those basics first though. And this just, it made getting this so much more fun. So the last wool coat in my collection and then one that I invested over the pink one from Lush Jack Fancy. It was a hard decision, but I am glad that I went for that one and that I could add this one to the Love Shack Fancy one to my collection when it was the right time. So this one has been getting so much wear. I cannot get enough wear from this one. It just is a really, it's a nice shade of pink for my closet. This coat, I prefer to style neutrals with it. So I find myself going for a lot of cream and ivory, which is the majority of my closet. This coat once again features a beautiful faux fur trim collar, has the cuff detail. So very similar coats. You can see the wool coats, but different color schemes, a little bit different structure to them. Anytime I put this coat on, I just feel so elegant. One outfit that I found that I really like with it is this. This is from Reformation that I thrifted. I thrifted this off of the Real Real. It has that like warm, buttery cream undertone. And then I just style a sweater like this on top of it. This, just, this is just a simple cable knit light sweater and then layer that coat on top of it. And it's such a neutral, soft outfit. The coat is definitely a bit of a statement, but it's still soft. And it, it's definitely like French girl. I'm getting the, the soft French girl style from this. And then since I'm kind of keeping to the French girl theme of this outfit, I decided to go for my lace up boots because quality footwear. And these are super comfortable too. I love that they have a lower heel and these add in a little bit of vintage to it as well. In most cases, it's definitely best to go for neutrals, but for me, it just made sense for me to get a pink coat just because my style is so narrowed down. Like I just know what I have in my wardrobe and what would work. On the whole, I would definitely say neutral is probably the best way to go. I want to show you so many more outfits with this coat, but I feel like we would just be here way too long. I'm gonna move on to my last coat category and my last coat, and it's actually the teddy coat. I love teddy coats. My teddy coat is actually on this clothing rack back here. It's this white teddy coat from Abercrombie and I have been living in that coat. I actually got it on, I believe Black Friday and I've been wearing it so much. It's the one coat that I opt for. It, it never fails me. And I think it helps that I got it in a neutral. I got it in white and that is the base of my wardrobe. So it really just goes with everything. I think it's really good to have a coat like that on hand. I can throw that coat on top of any outfit that I'm wearing. I feel like it would be good for me to actually look for more white coats, but for now I feel like I'm in a good place. I have my fun coats, my pink coats, my cape coats, and I feel like I'm just at a really good place right now. And I wanted to actually leave you with one little tip that has really helped me in narrowing down my coat search and just building my dream coat collection. It's actually been any chance I get to try on a coat, I try it on, whether it's shopping, but also through the rental service Newly. I have been raving about Newly for years now and I still use it. <laughs> And I, there's this one coat that I keep renting from Newly, and I just need to buy it at some point. But I've just been finding the styles of coats that I go for. I think it's just really helped me being able to try on all these different styles of coats. Even the Love Shack Fancy Try On at Home, when I tried on that coat that I now have in my collection, trying on things is just really what helps you narrow down your search. So if you can do anything like even Rent the Runway I think would be good. I feel like the coats that they are gonna be much more expensive, but Newly is a really good option. The coats are reasonable, you get really good discounts, and you can try endless coats. Like they have so many good coats on their website and I am obsessed with them. So that is my girly coat collection. I hope you enjoyed it. I feel like I had some really cute outfits to share and I was so excited about the pink plaid coat. I cannot tell you how excited I was about that. I'm sure you could tell, but. I hope this was helpful for you and good luck on finding your perfect winter coat if you haven't already. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.